Joining me right now is Irish welterweight sensation John O'Donnell, who has recently relocated to Canada. John, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, first, first things first, why move to Canada after coming from a boxing hotbed like Ireland and in the UK? Um, well, I've, co I've come to Canada now, I've hooked up with um, a gentleman, um, Mr. Adam Harris from Hennessy Sports. Um, he's been wanting me to come over for a while now and I've finally made the, made the move and come over and I'm um, really glad that I have, you know, uh, better opportunities. Um, training's gone brilliant. I've got a great reception since I've, I've come here to Canada and um, it's, a, it's a really beautiful place. Have you noticed any similarities between where you came from in terms of the enthusiasm of the fans? Because you're going to be fighting in Montreal, which is one of the liveliest crowds in the world, but you came from Ireland and the UK where you have similar types of things. Is it, is it kind of similar in that way? Yeah, kind of similar in, in that respect. I mean, obviously, the, the five fans in the UK and Ireland, they, they love their boxing. And obviously, I've, I've, um, I'm looking forward to boxing in Montreal. And I heard the atmosphere in the, in the Bell Centre is, you know, is electric, is amazing. So. I'm really looking forward to uh, to boxing on the 12th, and you know, hopefully, but you know, put on a good show. Well, you mentioned you'll be fighting on October 12th in the Bell Center, which mm. will be on Wealth TV in the United States. What do you know about your opponent, Thomas Mendez, uh, for your first fight here in Canada? What are you expecting out of him uh, come the 12th? Um, I, I watched a couple of clips of him on uh, on YouTube. You know, he's a he's short, stocky, uh, aggressive, likes to come forward. So um, I'm I'm going to be using my you know my boxing uh, skills, use the ring, and. Um, you know, hopefully put on a good show and, and I'll box him come the 12th, you know. Now, you're going to be facing Mendez, but you seem to have found some rivals here in Canada already. Yeah. Uh, tell me what's going on with Phil Greco because there's been a, a Twitter war between you and him, another fighter with a major promoter, a Canadian-based fighter. You know, that rivalry seems to be there, but there seems to be something a little bit deeper between you guys. Yeah, well, he, he's coming out chatting a bit of nonsense on, the, on, on, on Twitter. Um, so, basically, I was in Montreal last week sparring um, another good welterweight and Antonin de Carey. Um So I thought, you know, I'll take a trip up to uh, to Le Greco's gym and I did. I went up, I called him out, told him I'd fight him in his hometown, the UK, you know, wherever he wants to fight. I fought him in his backyard, you know, I went in his gym and called him out. I can't do no more than that. Um, he knows where I am. If he wants to fight, all he needs to do is call Hennessy Sports. We'll get the fight on any time, anywhere. So when you went in there, what happened? Did he? Did he uh, I, I assume you didn't fight when you got there. No, it was a, it was a bit of commotion. Um, obviously, I called him out, went straight over, called him out, told him I want to fight him. Uh, let's get it on in the ring. He was chatting a bit of nonsense, uh, saying how I, I lost to a bum in Vegas uh, five, six years ago. Um, yeah, I, lo I lost. I lost fair and square. I was, I was a kid. I was, um, you know, I, I was still learning the game, so to speak. Um, but he's not to worry about then, does he? If I lost to a bum, he's no problem getting in the ring and beat me. So let's get it on. Beyond Phil LoGreco, uh, you've also mentioned, and I know Adam Harris has been mentioning, maybe a Canadian welterweight tournament of sorts with you and Phil and some others. Would that be something that would interest you in the near future? Yeah, definitely. There's, um, I think, as you said, there's like uh, three, or four, uh, three or four good welterweights here in, um, in, in Canada. And uh, like a, a mini series, maybe, you know, with four or six of us in a, in a little tournament. Um, it'd be really good. You know, I'd, I'm definitely up for it. I'm sure there's one or two others that, that are up for it, but I think there's a few that, you know, talk a lot, the Greco, that, um, <laughs> that don't want to do it. But we'll see. If they can put that together, to, together it'd, be, um, it'd be brilliant. Well, even though you're here in Canada, are your eyes still back home on any fights there as well? I mean, specifically, I'm thinking about you know, a rematch with Craig Watson or Junior Witter for the, for the British welterweight title. Would either of those interest you, or is, that, or is Canada basically on your radar at the moment? Um, no, definitely. I'd love to, um, I'd love to uh, you know, obviously ha have some big fights back in the UK again, like the likes of uh, Watson or Junior Witter. There's, there's some really good welterweights back there. Um, and you know, hopefully, there are, there are fights we can make um, down the line, in the, you know, in the f in the future. But at the minute, I'm um, concentrating and doing my business here in Canada, and uh, hopefully, really make a, a big name for myself over here. You know. Well, in doing that, you've gotten yourself another place on American TV as well, as we mentioned uh, on Wealth TV. And you've been on Showbox before when you fought Terence Cowden. Uh, is there added pressure when the American TV lights are on, knowing that the audience is more universal? That it's kind of the, um, you know, the the atom of the boxing universe. Um, I don't know. There isn't. There isn't. I mean, if you're 100 percent right, getting in that ring, done all your training in the gym, you've not to worry about. All it is a matter of getting in there. And, and, and showing the, showing the world what you're what you're about, and um, you know that's what I what I really want to do now. 
come every fight from now on. I want to get in there and, and show everyone, show the world what I'm, what I'm about, what I'm really about, you know? Well, speaking of the, of the big stage, I can't have you here and not ask about Katie Taylor, speaking of the big stage and, and people performing. How much did her victory and that kind of magical moment that we saw in London, how much did that mean for Irish boxing, for people like yourself uh, and other fighters who are coming up in the sport? Uh, you know, it was really good. She's, you know, she's an ambassador for, for, um, for sport, you know, everywhere, not just Ireland. You know, she's a, she, she's a legend. You know, she's, um, she's, um, you know, won some really, really big tournaments. I think uh, it's, it's fair to say she's probably you know the, the biggest uh, boxing star that, um, that Ireland's had. You know, and she, she's doing really, really well. Do you think that that will have an impact on further funding for Irish boxing and you know really building the, the grassroots programs there? Because you know she had to train in the gym without a, a bathroom, for example. Yeah. You think that will change as a result of that? Yeah, I hope so. It should definitely um, you know um, up the funding and you know really bring a lot of kids on because she's done she's done tremendous. You know she's done unbelievable in the in the amateur sport, and I think if that doesn't increase funding. I don't know what what is going to do, you know. Well, your training since you came here has, has stepped up. You're now with with Ryan Grant here in Toronto. You were with Adam Booth before. Uh, what are some of the changes now to your camp at, here as opposed to how it was back in the UK? Um, I, I feel a lot a lot more focused over here. For one, you know, um, I feel like I can just fully concentrate on my boxing. You know, RG is a great a great coach. You know, um, I hooked up with him obviously when I came over here, and um, I feel we've bonded straight away. Um, really knows what he's talking about, really knows he's, uh, he's boxing and um, I'm looking forward to building a good, strong relationship with him, you know. Are we going to see any changes in you in the ring in terms of how you fight as opposed to the last time most people would have seen you on Showbox? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've, um, um, you're going to see a big, a big difference, a big improvement come, uh, come October 12th. Um, I'm going to show the world that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm ready and I'm really, I'm really a, a change fighter. And, um, come October 12th, I'm going I'm to show them. Well, we're looking forward to seeing that. That's John O'Donnell, Irish welterweight sensation, who you can catch on Wealth TV on October 12th.